And we appreciate you, Dr. Ryan, being here with us. Thank you very much. And let me welcome our next speaker, who's uh, Professor Salvador Vargas Molina from University of Wales, Spain. Welcome. Bueno. Bueno, buenas tardes desde Málaga. Very well, good afternoon from Málaga. It's a pleasure for me to share with you uh, the best uh, convention in the world about creatine. Uh, my name is Salvador Vargas. I am a professor in Meade, University of Wales. I'm at Screet in Málaga and uh, I'm a researcher in the BSS group and also in the work group of the University of Málaga. So I will make a brief explanation of one of the research of, of our work group on the impact of caster C, of caster, train, caster training, we and the relationship with uh, creatine. First of all, we will define what is cluster said uh, because of respect and, uh, and all of those that work in these topics and what, those that don't know what clusters, what the CTRs, what the cluster sets are. A normal, a normal set, uh, we have uh, 12 uh, repeats of any, uh, 12, 12 reps, we rest, uh, uh, then 12 reps, then rest. Uh, that would be the traditional set. Then we would have the drop sets where we would do the same 12 re re reps, then the descent of the load, and then two, three reps approximately. It can be done again at this uh, 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 deload again and reps again. Normally we reduce 20-25% of the load and two to three uh, uh, downward uh, loads. Uh, then we do these 12 repeats again, the rest pause uh, that I said as an, as an example. We do again a brief pause, which could be between 10 and 20 seconds approximately, and we get as many reps as possible. Normally from one to three, four is and then when we have the cluster training or cluster sets, where that same those same 12 reps will be organized by blocks, by conglomerates, uh, because in this case, as an example, three blocks of three of four reps, what happens here is that pauses, uh, intra-series pauses, they will be predefined pr priorly, 15, 20, 30 seconds approximately. And that this is the difference uh, with respect to the here. We directly know what's the number of reps that we will do at the end divided by that amount of blocks. And the variable of programming, the determinant in cluster C uh, sets are the intra-series pauses. And specifically, when we develop a pause, we have as an objective the reestablishment of blood flow and therefore better uh, blood supply, restorage of uh, intramuscular pH, a restorage of the membrane potential and the, of the rest potential, and a restoration of the phosphocreatine. If we want to increase the levels of strength, it could be more useful in this case to conduct a recovery, a full recovery of this phosphocreatine between 180 seconds and 300 seconds approximately. And from the point of view of the body composition of hypertrophy, more based on mechanic attention to, so as not to drop that load, it's also interesting to have a recovery of this phosphocreatine. And C, because uh, from the Harris research in 76, they revealed that there is the abyssophysic recovery of phosphocreatine when the, there was a full recovery around 180 seconds and a faster recovery around 28, 22 seconds approximately. And that recovery is the one that we intend to use with this methodology with the cluster sets because uh, really the most research on clusters are centered on sports performance. They, their origin was there in increasing strength, uh, jump performance, the capacity of the sprint, even the main evidence is shown, as I said, in uh, speed, uh, perform, uh, displacement, power, uh, lift, per, lift uh, uh, speed, and what happens with body composition, with hypertrophy. And this is what we wanted to supply our 
Uh, what we wanted to provide, it was in the framework of our project of cluster sets uh, that I had this block of directing and that we evaluated with body composition, in this case through DEXA and strength levels. We, uh, uh, in powering jump platform, evaluating jump with a uh, versus movement. And we proposed three protocols where one first group, as you see, worked in this case, uh, 12 reps with four blocks uh, of three reps with 20 seconds of pause intra, intra uh, set, then 12 reps, but rested 40 seconds a third group that rested in this case, that took a break 12 uh, reps, but instead of four blocks, they did 12 blocks of uh, six reps with a 20 second pause. And then they took a break of three minutes, 180 seconds at the end of each uh, series. As you see, we did traditional uh, exercise, uh, lower limb, uh, you see it, uh, dead weight, uh, athletic press, we worked for eight weeks with two weeks prior of familiarization with 72 hours of recovery. As we can see what we did, we applied the, the uh, lower limb, uh, full body. Specifically, there were significant differences as we can see in the entire groups. Although the trend was higher for the group that did, the effect was higher for the group that did 20 seconds Specifically, the colors are switched in this group regarding uh, the uh, the strength uh, with 20 seconds for lower limbs, and in this case, there was no difference. Uh, observe, because we applied a control group, but this control group really wasn't control at all, because we couldn't do in this case we didn't do uh, control in all the sessions. We only measured at the beginning and at the end. So we can't uh, get a conclusion if it was uh, superior, uh, the cluster the cluster set was superior or the traditional group. What we can see is that we increased the uh, fat-free mass in the lower limb in the three protocols made in cluster set. And we also wanted to do something novel, the advanced technique that is based on this uh, in the biphasic recovery of phosphocreatine, specifically the fast phase cluster set, uh, specifically with supplement, with uh, the, the scientific base that we have uh, that is also based on uh, um, re resupplying this uh, molecule. So from past groups, we incorporated a group that consumed monohydrate, monohydrate creatine monohydrate, that we prescribed 0.1 grams for per uh, kilogram of the body weight, uh, in addition to prescribing a uh, highly high protein diet that we accompanied with a protein supplement. They conducted the same protocols of training that I've described in the past uh, uh, mentioned, and specifically what we did in these groups. What we did in this group is the same what are called 12 reps uh, in blocks of three with the 20 second pause. We know that the phosphocreatine synthesis requires energy from high ATP hydrolysis to allow for phosphorylation of uh, free creatine through different uh, isoforms of uh, keratin kinase. And in comparison with the ATP and the ADP, and the Addison, the, the phosphate, the phosphocreatine and creatine are smaller molecules, less loaded, negatively loaded, that are found in a higher proportion in the muscular cells. And this will allow for having more intracellular flow through the mitochondrial reticule and the creatine kinase, kinase uh, phosphocreatine. So the creatine kinase system could, cons could be considered as uh, space temporal uh, energy and a metabolic dampener during the physical uh, exercise, high intensity and short duration, high intensity exercise, for example, training for hypertrophy. So uh, we can make the system creatine kinase uh, improve through supplementation of monohydrate, uh, of creatine monohydrate. And, uh, is specifying the blend of mono of creatine monohydrate and the cluster set protocol. 
And because of this reason, and what we mentioned before, that the consumption of monohydrate or creatine monohydrate with these clusters generated improvement in performance and body composition. As we can see, uh, as we say, non, non lines, uh, well, in this case, the hips and down uh, to uh, evaluate the uh, fat free mass in lower limbs. Uh, as we can see here, the correction. Uh, tissue for the uh, fat-free tissue. We found significant improvements in both groups, both with creatine and without creatine in the sit-ups and uh, fat-free mass. However, we observed in yellow, pointed out as the effects of the, the size of the effect was superior in the uh, group that consumed creatine monohydrate 064 and 016 in the fat-free mass in the entire body with the correction factor already made. And the uh, lower limbs, there was also the size of the, the most important size of the effect, uh, effect size in the group that consumed creatine and the uh, strength in, in sit-ups, the size of the effect was important too. Uh, the group of creatine was uh, larger one with 23 versus 0.75. And in the movement jump, there were improvements, significant improvements in the group of creatine without changes in the control group or in the cluster group that didn't consume creatine. Therefore, as a conclusion, men, tra strength tra trained men that do cluster set protocols and follow a high protein diet, improve the strength and fat free mass Although with the consumption of monohydrate, creatine monohydrate, it seems the results are improved. However, it's convenient to conduct additional research to observe the possible therapeutic effects and health effects of this nutrition strategy. And um, uh, just uh, thank you. Uh, thank uh, the entire DB DBSS team for inviting me and in, well, uh, for all the work they are doing in this best uh, convention on creatine in the world. Thank you.